Okay, here's a problem with an Atwood machine, and it's asking what the weight of this mass right here is and what the tension of this string is. Given that this weight is 8 kilograms and the acceleration is going down on this side at 3 meters per second squared. So if this weight is going down, that's already a hint that this weight is going to be heavier than this one. So I'm going to use the formula F equals M times A. And this F right here is actually the sum of the forces. So it's going to be both of these forces right here. And these forces are going to be actually in newtons. So to convert it to newtons, weight equals mass times gravity. So now I have these weights in terms of forces, in terms of newtons, which is mass times gravity. So um, gravity, which is negative 9.8. I'm actually just going to skip the labels right now. So negative 9.8 and then this is going to be the mass right here. And notice that there's two masses right here and they're both acting against each other because they're forces. Right now we're thinking of them as forces. Not of just masses but forces right here because it's in the force part. And they're acting against each other so they're going to kind of cancel each other out. So the heavier is going to, the lighter one is going to kind of cancel out a little bit of the heavier one. So it's going to be x, which is the heavier one, minus 8. I'll let you think about that for a second. They're going at different directions. So they're not added together right now. And then this is going to equal mass times acceleration. So right now we're thinking of it as a mass. So there's two masses right here. So we're just going to add them together. So x plus 8. Okay, that is a terrible eight. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. X plus eight, and now I'm gonna multiply it by our acceleration. Our, remember, again, our acceleration is going downwards. So it's gonna be negative three. And to do more simplifying, just gonna be negative 9.8 times X is negative 9.8 X. And then add 8 times negative 9.8 is 78 with two significant figures. There's a decimal at the end, but I'm just going to do two significant figures because, anyways, um, equals x times negative 3, so negative 3x, and then 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. And even more simplifying, I'm going to bring this 3x over onto this side, so I'm going to add it onto this side. So that's going to equal negative 6.8x, and I'm going to subtract this onto this side, so it equals negative 102. And if you were to do labels and everything, this would be newtons right here, So, but that's for later. So I'm going to divide this by 6.8 and divide this by 6.8. And so I get 15 kilograms. Get 15 even, since I did it to two significant figures. So that's just the mass of that weight right there. Now I'm going to find the tension of the string. One thing about tension is on an Atwood machine is that the string has the same tension. So you can isolate just one side right here, and I'm just going to do the 15 kilogram side. And just think about that. There's two forces right here, this force and the tension. And normally at equilibrium, it would have to equal zero, but since this isn't at equilibrium, it's going to equal mass times acceleration. So mass times acceleration is going to equal these two forces, so T plus F. So mass times acceleration Actually, no, hold on. Before I start plugging in numbers and stuff, I'm going to actually make this a better formula. So I'm going to write it as T, because we're solving for T. So T equals um, this force right here, which is mass times gravity. So T is going to equal, hold on, my bad, sorry. T is going to equal negative M times G and plus m times a. Okay, that looks good. So our tension is going to equal negative m times g, so 
our m is 15 now. We don't have to worry about the other one because we're only solving for one side. So negative 15 times gravity, which is negative 9.8, and then plus our mass again, so it's 15, and then times acceleration, which is negative 3. So negative 15 times negative 9.8 is Actually, I need my calculator. Fifteen times nine point eight equals one hundred and forty seven. T equals one forty seven minus because this is going to be a negative and then so forty five. So T equals one forty seven minus forty five equals one hundred and two newtons. So there's our tension right there, 102 newtons. And if you notice, then this 102 right here is actually the same as uh, this one right here. We already kind of found tension, just it's kind of really hard to notice that you found tension the same time as mass. So a lot of people are going to end up doing two different, two different processes. But that right there is mass and tension. Thanks for watching.